Hello, Nardigair, welcome back to Duskers. We are in the second system of the current galaxy. And we are looking at a Class B private ship that is looking rather volatile. So we are going to board it, we are going to see what we can scavenge. But we have to keep in the back of our minds that this ship is just going to fall to pieces at any moment. And as such, we should not tarry for too long. So let's dive in and see what we can loot. Accessing records. Inconclusive. One infestation type. It's rather volatile, medium hull integrity. And it has... It's a luxury vessel. And all the logs are corrupted. So we're not advancing the plot. So room two is... Clear for infestations and safe for transport. Let's begin. Wow, we found some uh, some scrap already. Also, there's an interface. Let's uh, let's use it. We bought an interface module last episode at the, the trade depot. Let's see what we get. Ooh, we have a ship scan. So it will reveal the entire layout of the ship in addition to some of the scrap we might have overlooked. So this looks pretty promising. Also, there was an error scanning rooms two and room six, so we don't get detailed layout for that. Also, we know that there's at least one uh, vent on the ship. We don't know what's in room 6 and we haven't spotted something in room 2. Let's uh, gather all the scrap first and then we continue. We uh, use our stealth and then open the door and see what's here. Fuel. Do you hear the knocking? That's the ship slowly falling to pieces. Oh, we got fuel for one day and a jump cell. Very nice. So yeah, just that 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 sound, that 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 pounding in the background. I'm already getting nervous. This game is really, really good at getting me uh, nervous. And the more dire things get, the more nervous I get. So let's send drone 3 to room 2. Let's use the, the motion sensor. We have inconclusive scans everywhere, except for the rooms that matter. We could probably get a lock on room 3. So, oh, be, uh, the way, please send a you over here. Motion sensor, inconclusive. So, sorry, but um, there's no point in using the motion sensor here. It's just too volatile. There's just too much background radiation. It's just too hard to get results, which is unfortunate, but that's the reality. Motion sensor is, uh, is a very useful tool, but it's not something you can blindly rely on. So I'm gonna close door nine because that way we are not exposing our generator drone to danger. Let's engage the stealth and open up the door. And have a look if see anyone is home. So far, what? Oh, we found a uh, new transporter signal in room six. Also, so far, nobody home. This is slightly worrisome. Also, Louis, you're not gonna go blind on me, are you? You're not gonna lose your camera feed. This is a rather crucial time in 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 our life here. We're scouting. No backup, so please don't fail. Open door. Um. Okay. 
nothing scary. Okay, so final room is the only room that actually has... Well, presumably it, it will have something in there, because we have one infestation type. That means there needs to be one enemy. So this room is going to be it, and there might also be some scraps, so I'm not just going to flush it out of the airlock. Um, we can actually play some uh, some hiding games. So let's engage the stealth, open up door 7. Oh, that was a charger. I uh, dislike chargers. Because they're fast. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna vent it. That way, it might lose what is in there, but we did kill it. Yeah, so we completely wrecked it. Yeah, this was a uh, rather quick visit. Uh, D3, D4. And let's engage ending protocols. Undock. Send everybody back to the ship. First wreckage. We did not lose any drones and we gained some fuel. We did get some wear and tear on our stealth module and the motion sensors. But, and the generator. But that's, that's normal. So, propulsion fuel, jump fuel, and three bits of scrap. No drones lost, no drones injured. I'm calling that a good day. So, we have six fuel plus one, which is good. We need one more to also get access to the trade depot. And let's uh, do another ship here. So we got the Muteki class B, which is a stable one, presumably. That's gonna be pretty okay. Um, None of the drone modules are breaking down, are they? Let's just double check that quickly. Nope, everything is still white. That's good. If they get yellow, then we have to pay attention. So let's go. Accessing records. Scrap found in room 2. Updating schematics. One infestation type detected. It's stable and the whole integrity is good. So there should be a lot less creaking and there's a lot less chance of radiation leaks. See what we can find. Again, no logs. Also, we got a, a good scan in on room 2 up the top there. It has a fuel depot and it has 4 bits of scrap as well as an upgrade module. This is a very interesting ship so far. Already liking it. Also, room 3 is clear of infestations and tra safe for transport. So... Let's see, can we stealth and then transport uh, drone 1 to room 3? Excellent, we can transport in a stealthed form. I've, I've yeah, never been lucky enough to get the combination of both modules at the same time. But this room looks clear. So we can uh, unstealth. And then we can transport our generator drone into the tree as well. And give the command to generate power. Excellent. So that did not reveal a lot more. Uh, we do get a, uh, a lock on room 4. So we can use our stealth to transport in and see how that goes. Alternatively, we can actually transport uh, drone tree into room 3 as well. And use the motion sensor. So room 4 and uh, the unknown room are inconclusive. So this is inconclusive. Uh, this is inconclusive. That's why it's moving a little bit faster and it's yellow. Um, this is clear and this is clear. That's good. Come on. Yes. Oh, also, we have an interface we can use. I forget, completely forgot that. We can survey the ship. Excellent, that reveals the layout of the entire ship. So, it's again, it, this is not a very large one. It has nine rooms. So, it's slightly larger than what we had before. But it's still gonna be plentiful. So, let's uh, stealth up. 
Door 9. Uh, close door 9. Okay, so vent, which means potential for flies. Did I mention I don't like flies? I must have. Okay, uh, let's unstealth. Gather all. Just pick things up. I've had this this one a derelict where I had a vent in my generator room and a swarm of flies came out and disabled my generator and ever since I'm completely paranoid about these events because I know what can happen. Let's see info. Um this is a firmly installed reroute power. Okay. But it's 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 plugged in so we can't actually get it out. That's unfortunate. Oh. Oh, cool. We now have a, a lock in room two. That is where I am. Excellent. Actually. Let's not uh, do the transport yet. Let's, uh, let's transport. Yeah, let's just uh, move. Okay, so so far we are wide open. We have scouted room 9 as well, so we can just uh, open up the door and let's see. So, interface, interface, it's not powered, that could be an issue, we need to find the generator in another room, that's going to be room 7 or room 8, um, there's a weak link in room 3 for the transporter, that's slightly unfortunate, let's see, close door 8, let's see what's in room 4, uh, stealth, D4, Very tiny room. The merged. Okay, half of the stealth remaining. No hostiles found. What was the. Ooh, that's uh, an upgrade we can actually pry loose. Okay. Just do some gathering, also get some info. What's in here? There's a destroyed reroute power. I'm hearing sounds. There's a, a power inlet here, there's a, an access terminal, and there's a ship survey that we can uh, get out. Good. Interface is not powered. Yes, okay, uh, of course. So Open up door 10, navigate our, uh, actually, no, we don't. Close all the doors and we say, we picked up a remote power. I forgot to plug it in. I checked over the drones. I forgot to plug in the remote power we got. Otherwise we could have used it here. Now I actually do have to go back to the original planet that is navigate our drone number two to room eight. To generate power. Need more power. Door 16 is being attacked. Where is door 16? Uh, dang. Okay, so we uh, whatever was in room two, it's no longer attacking the door because I just flushed it out of the airlock. That also means we only have rooms five and six left to scout. Let's see. Generating power. You can now use the interface. Survey the ship. We have already found all the rooms, so that's okay. That's uh, something we can tow. Uh, wait, actually, the motion sensor has the, the tow. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Navigate uh, our drone to room 8. 
because everything worth scanning has been scanned so we can get our drone out open up the door back to our ship down there and then you go tow somewhere over there you tow it navigate door three back to room one and he's just happily happily pulling things behind him Okay, you can stop towing now. Excellent. So, this module is now on board and it will go out with us when we leave. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, next up, scouting. What is behind the door number 16? We just airlocked it, so it should be clear. We lost a transporter signal. Um, just we can redock on the airlock, that's good. Oh, interface. Ship scan. That's a more detailed scan. So every interface has the potential to provide a different utility. Used to be that all the interfaces were the same. That has been changed. So this one provided a ship scan. Uh, at the bottom down there we had a survey and maybe another interface somewhere might uh, control the defense turrets. So th there's always a reason to use the interfaces now rather than only uh, just doing it once. Um, so just looking at it but I don't think we found any new scrap. That's slightly unfortunate but well, part of life. So we navigate our generator drone back to room 3. We lost our interface because we uh, unpowered it. And generate more power to... Yes, there. So we can actually get to the top side. And the fact that these rooms themselves are grey and that the corridor here is green means that one of them is going to contain a power generator. That actually powers the, the door between them. So that's going to be fun. Also, we can actually send our scouting or our scanner drone to room 2. So make some way. And then we can use our motion sensor. So room 5 is clear. Room 6 is indeterminate. So let's head for room 5 first. So um, wait. Actually planning to not use this because narrow corridors. Wait. Manual navigation it is. Or I should have just closed that door. At some point Louise video feed is gonna bail out on us. Power generator is here. And that's all there is to it. Let's see, gather all. Excellent. So we can send uh, the power generator here. On the other hand, that's only gonna unlock door 5 for us. But the thing is, we don't want to expose our generator drone to whatever scary thing might potentially be in room 6. So let's not. Navigate. Room. Room. Not, not room. Drone number three. Back to. Let's say. Room. Let's see. Room three. To get it out. Motion sensor. Uh, close everything. I mean, our uh, drone is caught up here, but we can always redock and just get them out that way. But we have a good scanner of room 2. So we can just say open up door 12 and wait a little bit. If there's something in here that moves, it's just going to move over and it's going to be very curious about this room and it's going to reveal itself. 
And then we can do something with it that is maybe useful or not. Excellent. Okay. So now we know there is something in there. We don't have any weapons, so we have to use the ship itself. Um, I actually made the not quite so smart decision to leave door 16 open at the bottom here. So we can't get it out and flush it. We need to uh, do something about that first. So send our generator drone to room 8. And we can generate power. And our motion sensor is just going to stay where it is. Generate power. Then we close door 16. And then we... Actually we have all the tools we need, so... We can open up door 13 here. And then once we lose the scan on room 2, we know it's in room 7. And then we can just airlock it as well. And then we've dealt with both hostiles without ever actually seeing them. Come on, be curious about it. Yes, yes. Okay. And it's been exposed to the outside. We wrecked the interface in there. The diagonal stripes that you saw there indicated that there was a bit of uh, radiation exposure, but it has faded. Um, unless it, it gets really bad, the radiation will just dissipate. And that means we can now move over to room 12. So we can send our drone back to room 3. And then we generate more power. And then we can actually check what it was guarding. It's like a dragon, right? It, it has to be guarding some form of treasure. Otherwise it's just lame. Oh, there's going to be an asteroid in 5 minutes. Room 2 and room 6 have a... Pretty good chance of getting hit, so room two is here. Room six is over there. So it's, it, it has a pretty good chance of hitting this in about five minutes. So that's the game telling me to hurry the hell up. So let's just gather all we can gather, and I think. That's it, right? There's no more interfaces for, for ship scans or stuff. Nope, we're done. That means... Is there a clear exit path? Yeah, if you open up door 9 and A1, then we can just say end. And it beeped like panicky because we lost a transporter signal. If you're relying on the transporter signal, it can indeed be a panicky event, but most of the time it just adds a little bit of extra excitement because you think it might be something that's actually important. So let's get out of here before the asteroid hits. I don't really want to be for that. Oh, conditions seem favorable to commandeer the derelict. That's, uh, those warnings are useful. Are you sure you really want to exit it, or do you just want to commandeer it? Um, here you can actually compare them, left side and then the right side. So we will lose out on some scrap capacity, we gain some extra fuel. We get three upgrade slots, even though one of the remote powers has actually been... Uh, been busted and we have ship surveyors and reroute power in the other one. Transporter was hard locked, so we will actually lose that. I'm not entirely sure I like this new ship. Let's not do it. Let's uh, just exit regularly. Okay. Interface is deteriorating. We need to fix that. It's uh, I, I like it too much and it's too useful. We uh, got the ship surveyor from the from the thing. That's good. Got a bunch of scrap. We got some jump fuel, which is very valuable. We've been out 17 days so far. 17 days, and I haven't starved yet. That's good. There's a lot of rations on board. So we have a remote power and a ship surveyor. That will uh, 
get you the structural layout, but I really do like the remote power. So let's go with that for now. Drones. Um, actually go with modifications, upgrades, interface. So we used it four times. I think we actually bought it with a couple of users on it already. But if we use 10 scrap, then we can uh, fix this. And it's gonna be as good as new. I'm very much in favor of that. Uh. Ah, for a repairing. Okay, I think we are done here for now. So currently we have three fuel plus one. So we can jump over here and then over there. Or at least we go over here and if we find one more uh, fuel, we can go to the medical. Otherwise we can just go to the to the trade and see. This medical of this military over here is the true target for our objective. So we're gonna jump over here and next episode we're gonna see what it contains. So thank you very much for watching and see you again next time. Bye bye.